Coming up, Youth Services of Tulsa, a look at the help it offers, and turning wood into even more beauty. This and more on Perspectives. Hello everyone, I'm Sam Jones. You already know we live in troubled times, and it goes without saying that everyone in the country is feeling the weight of worry. Although the season is over, I would encourage you to find the time to go by one of our many baseball fields. I know, I'm changing horses on you, but go by while that field is empty. You don't have to go inside. Just get out of your car, walk over to the fence, and let yourself daydream just a little bit. Suddenly, you can smell popcorn and hot dogs. The stands are full. There's a runner on second and third. It's the bottom of the ninth. The batter steps up to the plate. Now, his team is behind two to one, and the pressure's on. If he strikes out, his team loses. If he connects just right, he could drive in two runners and score a home run. Both dugouts are tense right now. The wind windup has, has started. The pitch is on the way. It's high and inside, and he steps back. That's ball one. Well, the pitcher toes the rubber, winds up, and again, the ball is released. It's a lazy curve this time, a swing and a miss. Strike one. The crowd comes alive, and you can feel it. Another pitch, a knuckleball. Again, the batter gets nothing but air. That's strike two. Now, both dugouts, like the crowd, are on their feet. The pitcher shakes off the first signal from the catcher, nods at the second, and goes into his windup. The pitch is on the way. Suddenly, over the roar of the crowd, you hear the crack of the bat, and... Mr. Spaulding is on his way to a space about two feet above the center field fence. Bedlam grips the stadium. A roar of yelling and clapping, cheering and screaming whistles fill the air. Is the ball going to clear the fence? If it does, will it change the outcome? So many variables could interfere. Suddenly, the ball stops in mid-flight. All action comes to a halt. A quiet calm settles over to the stadium, and the batter is frozen halfway between home and first base. Everything, the players, the crowd, all start to just fade away. You've just been visited by a wise old muse. You see, the game was a metaphor for what's really happening today. The question you face now, how will it all end? You think you know the game is going to end a certain way. You believe the ball will clear the fence. Then you realize everything's gone. The players, the crowd, the smells of hot dogs and popcorn, everything is gone except the ball. It's just sort of hanging there in midair, as though to say it's not over. Finally, it too fades away. And after a while, you turn and walk back to your car. Did it really happen? Did you really see all that? It was so real. Yes, my friend, it is. And that's my perspective. Still to come, we're going to discuss family counseling with Youth Services of Tulsa right after this.